what does my dinner look like? Uh, I try to focus on plant foods, more like a rabbit's meal than a lion's. Uh, I, I, I try to eat vegetables that have been themselves put under adversity. Uh, my theory is that when we put ourselves in a state of perceived adversity and plants do, we get benefits. And the plants that we eat, if they are picked when they're stressed out, so less, less water, a lot of sunlight, mm-hmm. organic, local, uh, even if there are there are caterpillar holes in the leaves, that's great. That means that those plants are making molecules that can benefit us. We call this xenohormesis. So if the, if the food is local, organic, um, doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, but I also I look for colored foods because the color in those leaves yes. comes with those good molecules. So one molecule that I'm known for is resveratrol in from grapes, and you find it in red wine but the amounts that i take every morning with my supplements um, as one of my supplements you'd need 200 300 glasses of red wine a Mm -hmm. day which i don't recommend please don't do that um well let let me tell you about supplements so in the morning um i have a few water called polyphenols resveratrol is one Mm -hmm. i have a teaspoon of that powder it should be white if it's brown or anything but white or gray, throw it away. It's contaminated uh, or gone bad. Uh, sometimes I put quercetin or quercetin, some people call it, um, mm-hmm. curcumin, um, and I take some physetin. And, and all of these molecules we discovered back in 2003 to 2005 extend the lifespan of simple animals like a nematode worm. And now people are finding that these molecules are very beneficial in humans as well mm-hmm. in clinical trials. So it's been proven out from uh, the, of the last uh, 20 or so years. And so I do that, but here's the important thing, Serena, and everyone listening. Mm-hmm. These plant molecules, once they're extracted out of the plant, they're, they're not very soluble. They're right. equivalent to trying to eat brick dust. They'll go st- mostly straight through you. And so the trick is to mix mix them with something oily mm-hmm. uh, or, or a lot of protein. So uh, yogurt is perfect. I have um, no sugar added yogurt, Greek yogurt. And I mix it in and they dissolve. And I know from studies that I've done on resveratrol that the absorption goes up five to tenfold with mm. some food. So do that. I actually mix the powder in. I don't just swallow it just to make sure it dissolves. Olive oil is a really good one, actually. Don't yes. eat too much. There's a lot of calories in that. But a few teaspoons of olive oil, you might want to throw some balsamic vinegar or a bay leaf in there. Have um, a, what do you call it, vinaigrette for breakfast. That's great. Mm. And the oil will um, dissolve all of those plant molecules and get them into your system. Mm-hmm. And these have been these molecules have been shown in animals for sure, and increasingly in human studies, to protect against cancer and heart disease and even Alzheimer's disease. 